to install actually going to download and install Ubuntu desktop so um, go to your favorite search engine being Google whatnot uh, and then just type in Ubuntu really you can just type in Ubuntu you don't have to do 18 but most of them want to pull up there then uh, you go to Ubuntu okay here is Ubuntu wow that's nice that's really nice so let's see so we're gonna download the desktop version uh, we're gonna click on downloads and we're gonna go to desktop and we're going to download the desktop Ubuntu version latest and greatest click on uh, download and you can pay or not um, you can skip to pay um, I'll pay eventually but right now no so uh, your oh yeah so your downloads already been started right here so that's about uh, two gig so what you do is um, once it's downloaded we'll upload it to our our um, ESXi host so I'm on the ESXi host now and we're going to click on the because I already downloaded it by, by the way so we're going to go to our storage by the way if you want to get a nice uh, um, ESXi host there's plenty of vendors out there so click on storage click on um, the data store excuse me uh, data store browser you're going to click upload and then you're going to choose the Ubuntu uh, in this case it's not here but because I've already deleted it by basically but in, in your case you would just find the uh, desktop and you would upload it so let's do let's do one to simulate it right it's not um, it's not the actual Ubuntu desktop but we're gonna just simulate it with another one let's do the um, Oini um, KVM which is um, I think that's Dell's open open network platform anyway we're gonna close and then at the bottom you're gonna see uh, right here it's uploading the file to the data store and depending on your speed it's going to take however long right there okay so it's completed great so we're going to ha head over to the virtual machine we're going to do um, create register so we're going to create a new virtual machine now mind you this is an ESXi host this is not uh, virtual player does the same thing uh, virtual box kind of does the same thing and workstation as well um, Hyper-V is a little different. At any rate, so we'll go, we'll name it um, Ubuntu Desktop. Ubuntu Desktop. Okay. So that is a um, Linux machine. That is a Ubuntu. So we're going to find Ubuntu down here. Ubuntu Linux. Yep, yeah, 64. Next. The data store. It, well, choose the data store if you will. So here's here's an important consideration. So this um, you have thin provision. So let me explain these to you. Um, so the simplest term I can use, I guess, is a cup of water, right? Um, so the cup is this represents the the current. I guess cup of water now this represents the container or the cup of water that you're putting your stuff in and the 16 gig um, yeah 16 gig represents a cup of water right so thin provision says I see your cup of water is 16 gig but I'm only gonna use so much of it so um, you know give me 16 gig but I'm not gonna use it all and if I need to increase I can so um, now and then you have that's thin provision then you have thick provision layer lazily zeroed which says okay I'm gonna use that cup of water but um, let me use the whole cup of water but I, um, let me use different parts in the water basically let 16 gig 
can be at the top and the bottom or in the middle um, and, and distributed evenly or distributed however because maybe there's other things in that cup of water other VMs basically right the last one is this thick provisioned uh, eagerly zero so that one is like here's a cup of water um, give me the cup of water give me allocate that 16 gig of space in that cup of water for me you know and and give it to me basically so that's that's the difference between those three naturally we're going to choose thick provisioned right um, so all these are pretty much the same so then you have network that's important if you have one network card we have one so we have to be um, you know we have to know what we're doing with the network so you can put more than one network you can put um, you know public facing IP and a private facing IP on the same on the same NIC you can do that you just have to make sure that it's all set up the right way um, and you don't put like a sometimes you don't put a default gateway um, anyway so then we click on the uh, DVD so the host device so this is actually see this is like the C drive right so this is uh, this is how we install the actually Ubuntu right so we're gonna go and find it we've recently well not recently but before it was there so we're gonna find it and it's uh, we'll see open Ubuntu desktop there we go so we're gonna click on that select and then okay that's good so connect at power on that's good everything else looks fine next and now it's like uh, a summary. This is what you're doing. This is how you're going to do it, right? Uh, one gig, one CPU. That's good. Plenty, plenty of uh, space for that. Anyway, click on finish, and we're going to see it somewhere here. It should be listed. Yeah, here it is, right here. So we can um, see all the information here what's going on let's go ahead and, and power it on and uh, install it okay great so we're going to be you can here's a cool part you can install it in any language you desire see how it changes it's kind of nice right Netherlands Magyar I think that's Hungarian. Yeah, it's Hungarian. Uh, probably Lithuanian, maybe Kurdish, Kurdy, yeah. Italiano, Italiano. Um, don't know any of these. French. This looks like Spain Spanish. I think. I think it's Spain Spanish. Maybe not. Maybe another one. Um, Portuguese, Tagalog. Wow, Tagalog, okay. Um, Turkish. Russian, I think. So I'm going to click on English, and we're going to do um, install Ubuntu. We're going to choose our keyboard layout, English, and um, English US, continue. Okay, so you have normal and minimal, right? Um, if you have the internet on this one, like if you, you know, when you install it, you have access to the internet, or you can put internet on it. Then do minimal. Uh, but if you ha you don't put normal, uh, it's there's a big difference. It puts a bunch of stuff on it basically. When you do normal, it just a little, it, I won't say it's bloated, but it's bloated. There's a lot of stuff on it. So we're gonna just choose normal because uh, we're gonna assume that. Well, we do have access to the internet, but. We're just going to choose uh, normal. See all that, all the cool things they have going on. Otherwise, you have to do a lot of app, at, I uh, see app to get install, uh, different things. Um, okay, so we're going to erase and install Ubuntu. Um, it's saying, do you want to write the changes to disk? Meaning, do you want? It's going to be formatted. Now, this is, this is not actually going to be. If you had like a virtual box, let's say, right, and you're using on your computer, all this means is um, it doesn't harm your hard drive, basically, or damage your hard drive. 
has his own internal hard drive that is saying, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write I'm gonna write these changes to those hard drives, not yours. It's um it's a virtualized environment, so you can feel free to break it, play with it, whatever. It's not gonna affect your uh, computer or Mac or Linux box or whatever you're using. So we're gonna click uh, we're gonna write these changes, so we're gonna click continue. So we're gonna choose our location. So Let's put it, um, we're not in California, but we're going to choose uh, California because that's what the Active Directory server is on. So we're going to push um, next, continue. Okay, here's where we're going to identify our host name. So we're going to go to our lab sheet and see what is our um, computer name. Okay, so the Commvault Lab, right? So it's uh, Lin SRVR CMV LTMA1. Okay, put the information in. And let's just take off this virtual information here, whatever that stuff is there. Virtual machine. Okay. May not start with end or hyphen. Okay, so we'll just remove that. And then we'll just uh, put our password in. So I, I like to do um, login automatically at first. Um, when you do require my password login, when you're setting up your lab, it just takes forever just to get it, you know, and it's just so much easier if you just uh, log in automatically in my mind. And you can change it later on, right? But anyway, any rate, uh, let's, um, so with that, we're done with that. So we're going to click on uh, continue the next step. Okay, so here we go. It's copying its files. It's going through its install. Um, and yeah, so we are, let's see, we're going to just, um, we're going to come back when it's done installing. Uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, our installation is complete. That was quick, what well, quick, but through the power of the internet, it's, uh, it's quick here. Anyway, we're going to, uh, we're going to restart the computer. We need to remove the um, installation CD basically and reboot it. So let's do like this. Let's do please remove and then reboot. Okay, so we're going to pause. We're going to edit. Basically, this is just when you uncheck your your ISO file from your VM, that's essentially removing it, right? So we can do host device. Okay, save it. Okay, okay, successfully configured. And then um, we'll just push enter here. Should reboot it as well. Yeah. Or the other way is um, just right click on it or power off, power on. Let's see. Let's go here and let's do virtual machines. And we're going to find the virtual machine, wherever it's at. We're going to click it. We're going to right click on it. And we're going to power and reset. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to reset it. Restart, reset, same thing. Well, not exactly the same thing, but in our case it is. Power back on. Oh, well, okay. I guess I have to wait for it to power off completely. Well, let's turn it back on. Let's see how it works. Hmm. Okay. So I think I know what the problem is. Um, sometimes these things happen to your virtual machine. So well, what the solution sometimes is, is this. You right click on it and you go to unregister it from the um, what the ESXi host, right? It's unregistered. It's not there. Then you go to your data store, your storage, find it. Um, data store browser, right? 
and then you're going to go to the where it just installed at so that was Ubuntu desktop and we're going to right click on it and register VM close that go back to your VMs where is it at okay, here to go okay it's been registered good I'm going to turn it back on usually that uh, usually that does it and uh, that'll fix it okay this is going to log in automatically uh, when it comes up okay you successfully installed Ubuntu desktop see all these things now that's because you did that uh, normal installation all these little icons and all that so okay thanks for viewing this tutorial if you like this video and you want to see more please jump on to my course which is I have two courses one is at get a job in it.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy it's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer there's some good content there related to this if you would could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications thank you very much